hey guys welcome back to electrical infinity in this video i am going to explain you about the wiring and working of distribution panel this one is a distribution panel powered only by transformer not by dg so here you can see at the top left there is an voltmeter voltmeter selector switch ammeter and an ammeter selector switch also there are phase indicators here ryb phase indicators the wiring of voltmeter and ammeter i have shown you in the previous panel videos so you can check that video for wiring detail wiring of voltmeter and ammeter this one is an circuit breaker three circuit breakers for the protection of the three phase indicators so this one is a main MCCB here. This one is a 400 ampere main MCCB and the incoming of the transformer is connected to the phase in of the MCCB. So as you can see here, this one is a 400 ampere main MCCB and at the output of this MCCB, the bus bars are connected and to these bus bars, a CT is connected for ammeter wiring. The CT is required for ammeter wiring. This one is a 400 by 5 ampere class 1 CT as you can see here so we have used this CT for ammeter wedding as you can see here the CT is used for ammeter wedding and the detail wedding is shown in the previous video you can check that video too so the main MCCB is used for main MCCB bus bars are taken out and to the bus bars the CT is connected here, here you can see the bus bar chamber is below the bottom at the bottom of the panel in the previous panel videos the bus bar chamber was at the top of the panel so here we are using a bus bar chamber at the bottom of the panel and here you can see this one are the insulators to prevent a uh, leakage of current in the body of this panel so here we are using uh, insulators between bus bars and the panel body so there are more bus bars uh, more insulators here as you can see here here you can see there is a T junction here and the bus bar chamber is present at the center of the panel here as you can see here and the power is distributed at the left and right side circuit breakers too as you can see here with the help of cable and as well as the bus bars. Also there is a bus bar chamber at the extreme right of the panel as you can see here there is a bus bar chamber at the extreme right of the panel and there is also cable chambers too. So here you can see this one is a bus bar chamber at the center of the panel and there are four bus bars here R, Y, B and neutral and here you can see we are uh, taking a cables from these bus bars and giving a supply power to the phase ins of the circuit breaker as you can see here this one are circuit breakers 32 ampere circuit breakers two pole circuit breakers of eight quantity and from the phase out of these circuit breakers we are connecting it to terminal blocks so as you can see here these are the terminal blocks these are two wire terminal blocks as you can see here r neutral y neutral b neutral similarly there are eight terminal blocks here one here you can see this one one two three four five six seven and eight one terminal block and below that you can see these are four wide three phase terminal blocks these are of four quantity these are for four circuit breakers we have used at the side of this so here you can see these are four circuit breakers, four 63 ampere four pole circuit breakers. So we are using a cable, we are taking a cable from this bus bar chamber for supplying the power to the phase in of these 63 ampere circuit breakers. As you can see here, these are four, these are of four quantity and of four pole 63 ampere circuit breakers here. And the phase out of these circuit breakers are connected to these terminal blocks present here. These are four wide three phase terminal blocks. Here you can see we have used bus bar instead of cable to transfer the power to the phase in of the MCCB. So as you can see here this one is a 250 ampere MCCB and if the ampere rating is above 100 ampere we have to use bus bars instead of cable hence we are using a bus bars here and a 250 ampere MCCB. Here you can see this one is an output chamber or cable chamber and the load is connected from this chamber. At the bottom of that there are more circuit breakers located here. Here you can see this one is also a 63 ampere circuit breakers of 4 quantity of 4 pole. And here you can see these are the terminal blocks here. As you can see here these are 3 phase 4 way terminal blocks RYB and neutral. So here you can see these are also of 4 quantity. These 4 terminal blocks are for 4 circuit breakers, 4 63 ampere circuit breakers. There is also a pair of 64, 63 ampere circuit breaker at the bottom of that and the terminal blocks of these are present at the behind of these terminal blocks. 
this bus bar the power is also transferred to the circuit breakers located at the right side too so here you can see there are three full circuit breakers located at the right side of this bus bar chamber this one is an output chamber as you can see here or else we can call it as cable chamber this one is a three pole circuit breaker as you can see here and the neutral is separately connected as you can see here and there is also a bus bar chamber at the extreme right of the panel as you can see here and these are also a uh, three pole circuit breakers and neutral is connected directly as you can see here here you can see we have used a rubber insulator between the phases connected to the mccbs to prevent any short circuit as you can see here so that's all in this video guys hope you have liked this video and found this video very useful subscribe to my channel electrical infinity like this video share this video with your friends and to learn electrical up to infinite hit the subscribe button thanks for watching